Again, we got Thanksgiving break week here, so it's uh, no classes. Um, last game, regular season for these guys, a good game. Uh, so, good, job, good week. Last game, uh, some of the things about the Maryland contest. Uh, I think the kicking game was pretty big that game, not just because Griff made some field goals. Had twice on the two yard line and kicked field goals, which wasn't good. Um, so our red zone offense still needs to continue to improve. Uh, but I think like our, our punting game, kickoff cover game, their, their greatest kickoff cover was when we kicked it for a touchback. So our cover units were good. That was just a really good return guy, likely. One of the better guys in the conference. Uh, so I think they actually started inside the 20 with punts and, and, and kickoff coverage. I thought that was huge. I think coming off the six losses, the way we had, as you said, those guys in battle, just impressed uh, the way we started poorly. Uh, the game is similar to the Rutgers game in reverse, where the first 10 or 15 minutes were standing around, not good in any phase. And we, Played 40, 45, 50 minutes of good football. Shows finishing good, better than starting good. So we like to start well, play the whole game well. There's ebb and flow. We did talk to the guys about continuing to play and what happened. Uh, it was good to see them, see that because we can get on a 40, 47, 44 to 7 run. Again, kicking was good there. Defense, except for one long run, seven down. Offense got going, except for a few score zones. I like the point, I, you know, we talk about recruiting stuff, and I've got a couple of recruiting guys here. But you look at our team, like there's about 13, 14 walk-ons. They came as walk-ons and had a huge impact on the team. And so you got Mitchell Page, had five catches and two TDs. He's got 41 catches for a year and six TDs. Got kind of some two pump returns and four offense. It's huge. He's on scholarship now. We recognize Mitchell, recognize Andre Booker now. has two touchdowns this year. He's not on was scholarship. It's not this year. You can't re-earn him and the way we do it. And he's a tr tremendous contributing player. With their numbers, uh, it's not made right now. Had a touchdown at Michigan State, had a big touchdown the other day. Uh, Michael Cooper, now has two touchdowns, had one, came here as a transfer from Arizona, so walk on and earn it. He's got 14 catches. Luke Timian had his first play. He had his ankle sprain, he's him a little bit. He's kind of like Mitchell and Damon Graham, all similar personnel <coughs> guys at the slot. Luke had a big catch, leading to some points. It was a huge play. Damon Graham had another play, 16 yards. 16 uh, uh, kickoff returns, 21.7 for the year. Doing well for us in that capacity. We had A. Wilson and A. Rod uh, Rodriguez at the tailback point for us. So offensively, you got like two, four, six, seven skill guys that are contributing. Defensively, Morgan Swan had three tackles, and special teams, and Bach had three tackles uh, uh, as a corner with 37 snaps. Uh, that little Thornton that we moved to receiver scholarship guy. Our uh, scholarship guys are big. We've got replacing Dooley like we did. You know, Godson and Goodell, for Perry's been good. And Toth, you know, has had what, 20 kicks inside the 20 out of 55. It's 40%. He's averaging 41 yards, uh, 0.4. And, and Oaks, he's leading the conference. He's leading the scoring, percentage, touchback. So those are all non scholarship guys. So we just got to do that out there, guys. We want our crew to keep doing well. We're in state school, and you can get some in-state kids. Those non-scholarship guys are huge. And there's a bunch more that we don't mention that help us whether in practice or the roles aren't as great yet. So anyway, we kind of threw that out there. Um, offensively, uh, you know, yards after catch was the best it's been in a while, semi in particular. Uh, we thought uh, when they made the big run in the third quarter, they had the next two drives, this third quarter touchdown was huge because they cut it to 30 to 20. Um, we didn't like the red zone production where we keep stalling. Uh, we did have five offensive penalties. A couple of guys were playing hard with Mike. You gotta be careful not to overcoach it, but we do our cross the line a few too, too many times. Uh, winning performances, we had several guys up front uh, in the perimeter. Sudfeld played well. Uh, Michael Cooper, again, line ready at 130. I think uh, Maryland had given up 140 yards in the previous four games rushing. Penn State, Wisconsin, Michigan State, and I combined that 130 yourself. They loaded the box. And that's why some of the passing was good. It was one on one, but it was, it was a good running game and a hard running day. Combined played well. Dan Feeney played well again. Uh, uh, Jason Spriggs, Jake Reed, Simi Cobbs, Mitchell Page, uh, and Andre Booker. Player the games were Simi Cobbs and Nate Sudfeld, and the state scouts were uh, uh, Jacob Abamonte. 
And Raekwon Jones, again, he showed up several times as a young guy. Uh, defensively, uh, responding from the 21, first start, you know, the turnover gave up Chief, a couple big plays. I think they thought they kept their poise. I think the offensive drive gave them a little bit of momentum. And then they kind of got saved with five, three and outs as the game went along. Uh, we only had one defensive penalty. It was a PI call. It was a competitive play. Uh, we had eight tackles for loss. We were 13 to 16 on third down. Four or six on fourth down. So we're getting some stops. Best we've been in a while. We only gave up seven. Second half points and zero in the fourth quarter, which was great. <coughs> we didn't have any turnovers uh, that we created that we got. Uh, Maryland had been a little sloppy, so Maryland did a much better job. We didn't get <laughs> We had 15 missed tackles, we got to clean that up. Uh, some big plays we got to clean up, but uh, as far as fashion, we love to finish. They had several guys that played well, we thought. Nick Mangieri, uh, Darius Slayton, and Zach Shaw. Those three guys have been playing very, very hard uh, up front. Ben Bach and Leon Thornton in the corner both uh, showed up well physically for us. Uh, Jonathan Crawford, and then Marcus Oliver and T. Gray Scales. Player games, Marcus Oliver. Uh, Marcus is quite playing hard. He on our team, but like caring and giving and fighting and he's beat up. He's got a lot of passion. Just, he's a phenomenal kid and he gives a lot. Um, he's kind of glue keeping those guys together. He's a special young player. He's a sophomore, he's a third year sophomore. Scouts, Danny Cameron, good to see you, and Chandler Miller. In the kicking, we had several good performances. Players that gave Griffin Oaks and Eric Toth. We did recognize Ryan Watercover and Chris Gajic, his scout team kick guys. Those guys covered kicks for us. Uh, it was really, really good. I uh, thought Mitchell Page did a good job managing the kicks at one kick over six. Uh, and then again, moving on to Purdue, uh, again, very fortunate uh, to have, again, what I consider a great rival and a lot of respect for, for their, their team. Uh, then uh, through my years from high school as a player, in college, where I've coached, been lucky to be a place that good rivals. Not everyone has that blessing. So it's nice that we have. Fan base from both sides, and there's a lot of talk and smack. I guess it's, it's, it's really good, but it's rock. And I'll slow down the commercial. But rivalry week, and we have a great rival, and it's and we embrace that. And, um, it's going to be a tough challenge. Uh, to put on the tape, and we keep saying that you know, sometimes we're, we're playing good, the record don't show it. I mean, put on the tape, what's the where they're playing in all phases. Uh, two quarterbacks, it's once hurt, maybe plays, maybe not. But, uh, the guy that comes in was a starter, played against us last year, threw for 280 or something last week against Iowa, threw for 180, that's great defense. He was 23 or 40. Uh, Marco Jones, running back, talented kid that we know is recruited well, uh, know the coach as well defensively, creating a lot of turnovers in the secondary, freaking Williams, the guys in the front, linebackers. I say it'll be, it's going to be a tough challenge. That's why you don't win on the road a lot, it's hard. Be a big game, but at the same time, we go back to approaching as it's the next week and we want to get better. And that's what we talked about yesterday. Here's the game, here's the good, here's the correction, let's fix it. We have some good preparation today. And it's Thanksgiving, so a lot to be thankful for. Uh, but really, as much as anything, you know, a good group of kids just need a good week. Fortunate to have a big ride to play a good game. Question? Yeah, again, it's got to be. They'll try to manage here. We'll see. And then we'll get this with him. Uh, you know, we could have. Hey, you know, actually had it coming out last game, so he didn't hurt practice. He's just kind of, you know, just kind of been fighting through it. And, uh, uh, let's see, the last, uh, what do you guys this name? You know, we just had the first time in history of school. Two players in the week. Ever. Third largest comeback in history of school. Ever. We're going to start with just that's, that's, that's our way. So we don't we don't operate that way on the second floor. Yes, they're going to press conference to the positive venue of the second floor. Um, well, could be positive if he's playing, he's playing he's great. Yeah, but so it's like we're always going to get injury on things. Oh, we get like who's playing great on things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I mean, he's, you know, he's, we'll, we'll see. We got, we're going to always be smart. You know, he's got a short term and long term. Uh, like last game, even like, you know, they try to give him a bite. If you go, but man, they were putting seven, eight up. It's going to be tough sled. Um, you know, he didn't feel comfortable. We didn't feel comfortable. We'll, we'll go through the week and see. Be smart with it. Uh, but not, you know, just, I don't know. Yeah. Fortunately, again, we got still the same line. Some good backs that don't have 
us, and you say that, because um, again, so people can still reach out to them, sometimes they got a little bit more free time. So maybe it's more, so we we're something like that. We actually have some guys today that we do some academic work, just go to the window, we got exams coming up, we got some papers due. So we're kind of working on a reasonable week. It's, you know, we, we, we back, that's why I appreciate you guys getting a little bit later. We let them sleep another hour or two, because we didn't have to get to classes. Um, but we, we've tried to work hard to make this uh, the last couple of years just, you know, we, it's been more about the week and the game, the playing on the road, or we, we try to make this a, a strong week for the kids. Because there are no classes, it can be a little more just team oriented. So, what does that help us work style? Is there a danger when you play a game like this, right on a game, trying to get to a whole game? Is there a danger when kids get too ramped up and you have to bring them in? Um, again, all we're talking about is the week of prep, the process, and the playing hard. Um, the other day we talked about we don't look at the school. Time was going to cry on the opponent and doing his job. And that can kind of be with the bulk of this week. Because again, you, you, you talk about results versus what you got to do to get the result. The result is you got assignments to do it. You got to come over and fill out the other day. It's probably the best communication we had. had kids talking. You know, Nate was very good at that time. Hey, I want this and this. I don't want this. He's always been good. He's the best he's ever been sad. Uh, he said, I heard several comments. I didn't see it because I was kind of one of the offensive and defensive players that were very encouraging. Whatever. So we'll, we'll, you know, we, like I said, we don't, we're not going to play a game with a lot of pressure. Our, our pressure is going to be prepared and then go over and play them. And like I said, we're not going to get caught up in the, in the results because there's a lot of factors going to that. You know, so ball security, kicking, play calling, execution, there's all kinds of things that can, can determine the outcome. But the hard deal is the process of the week. Each week we keep, we keep talking about getting better. So we came in and said, hey, this needs to get fixed, and this was good, and here's what they're going to do, and now start the process of getting back. And that's not coach speak, that's just how we do it. Sure, one of the goals is you want to see to evolve and take that next step with the program. How much do you mention the ball possibility now that you're that new doctor? Well, because you guys already did last week. And I said, hey, you need to be a bowl team five and seven, so don't worry about it, because it's never been a goal to talk about. Our goal is to be the best we can. Because you guys can Twitter it out and talk about it, talk about it, talk about it. All we talk about is living each day and living each week and getting better as, you play, as a player, as a student, and it's in, in your life. That's all we talk about is getting better and playing better football and continuing to play and not riding the ups and downs and highs and lows. So our, our true goal is always to be the best we can, get better, and continue to improve. And so we haven't put a sticker on, it's got to be, this should be the best week we've had because it's the next one. That's all we not because it's the rival or any other record or implication. This should be our best week because it's the next. And that way, to me, I think our kids can approach it with some confidence, not have stress, not have worry. Same deal with coaches. Hey, this is our best, our, and our best week's going to have human error because we're, we're human. We're going to be glitches and mess ups. We're, you know, we got to take, you know, that onside kick was great because it worked, right? You know, uh -huh. just, we made a decision. Sometimes we make decisions that don't work. Players make decisions. Our deal is just, what's the process to get better? That's all we've been trying to do. We're not, we're not making it any bigger. You know, we're not minimizing it. We're, 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 we're maximizing it. Next week, we've got to get better. We've got mistakes we've got to correct. And we're also fortunate to have a great rival with so many great fans. And let's go play in a great game and play the best we can. That's all we're doing. I'm not sure if you were asked this last week, but how did you have one of this game? Being in your fifth year, having Five years, 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 but being, being in a place where you love practicing and working with kids and playing with them, it's, it's a pretty good group in there. That's why I think we've been able, as it's not looked good, we've been able to keep doing what we're doing because our guys are a good group. So as coaches, we've been able to maintain that. So, I guess just a credit to their buy-in. And I, I, you know, my own issues, 
outside of our fan base, them getting the success that they, they, they truly want us. Really, the guys that need it. I mean, no one's put in more time, and energy, and effort than those guys, and especially a kid like Shaw or a kid like Maynard, who's been here five years with the main series and sub bells and springs, have been here four, the sorrows. I mean, you keep going down the list of guys. So you just want those guys to play their best football and then see what opportunities come in. Because again, on the weekends you have some bowl practices, which are kind of spring practices, and it's official visits, and there's energy there. We have basketball games, so again, if that presents itself, great. Um, but again, real deal is just we have a good Monday. I need to get going out here, get on some tape, have a good Tuesday, just get this week. Well, and getting hope again, like in some of these games, we're talking about keeping emotions under control. Um, you, you know, the, you know I, he didn't play very well last year against the Maryland. 14 of 37, maybe? Is that right? 134, something like that. It's close. I'm trying to remember that. That's close. I think that's right. You know, and, but, but, his, but his teammates didn't play well. You know, we didn't block, he was running for his life. You know, we didn't have good rhythm, we didn't call it well. And so for him to come back and play this year against him, you know, whatever it was, was nice. Well, the same deal. You know, you wanted to see him, even if he played his game, you'd like to see him as a fifth year guy or a fourth year guy, make sure he's prepared. You know, I mean, I think he's, he's going to be pretty diligent in what is going on uh, with, his, with his preparation. And he'd like to think he's big enough to, to see what's there in the ribbon. Not quote, try to make a play. Because if you try to make a play, it's late, it's not there, it's cloudy, it's big. And this team gets a fair amount of interceptions. So we've got to be smart with that. So, uh, you know, it's going to be, you know, again, Weston plays defense way. You know, young know, Plogel uh, is going to play hard up front. The guys are getting picks. And two linebackers are big and athletic. So, again, it's, you know, our offense has played decent down the stretch. But it's going to be another challenge. Uh, offensively, you guys saw Iowa play like Iowa was ball control. And say, we're doing the ball 33 minutes, give or take, against Iowa. But Iowa get to the end of their deal. So, again, we've got to function as a team. If the team plays well, I think. They would say something. Awesome. That's good. Have a good one. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Appreciate you.